I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing under here, let's go. You need to go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with English. Tap on the arrow. Check out some info to get started. You will, you will need to check terms and conditions and also privacy policy. And then you'll be able to click next. These are options if you want to go with those as well. Okay, I'm going to go with this. We're going to go ahead and click on next. I'm going to go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi, which is right here. I need to enter my Wi-Fi password. You can always set the Wi-Fi up later as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set mine up now. I'm going to click on connect. Now it says connect it. I'm going to click on next. Checking for updates. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more if you wish. You can go ahead and click on next. I don't want to. I'm going to set this up, set this up as a brand new tab here. I'm going to click on don't copy. From here, you can go ahead and sign in with your Google or Gmail uh, address. You can do it now or you can skip it and do it later if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and skip it for now. Here's some Google services, user location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data, install and updates and apps. It's up to you, okay? You can go ahead and turn these on or off. I'm going to leave mine all, all these on. I'm going to tap on accept. From here, you can choose what kind of password you want, face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin, or password, or you can do multiple of these for extra protection. I'm just going to do one for now. We'll just go ahead and go with the pin. With a pin, it only requires uh, four digits, at least four digits. Put in the password that I, or a pin that I would like. I'm going to tap on continue. I have to re-enter it again. Then I'm going to tap on OK. From here, you can sign into your Samsung account, or you can do it later, or you never even have to. Okay, I'm just going to skip it. I'll probably never sign into my Samsung accounts. If I skip it right now, basically, I'm skipping out on all of this here. That's fine with me. I'm going to tap on skip. Now you're all done. Go ahead and tap on finish. So mine's ready to go, just FYI. You do have a slot if you want to, ex to put in a SD card or expandable storage right here. You can go ahead and put in your SD card or memory card into here. I don't need it right now, but you can put it in now or later if you wish. Pretty simple to do. Good luck, guys. Bye.